there is a, a definite need for more line workers and line workers who are highly trained in this highly uh, specialized, highly skilled area. And uh, this opportunity existed uh, because of a, a state grant that was, uh, that was attainable if certain financial and material commitments were uh, matched it. And it was made possible both by an opportunity that the community college system had and the vision that uh, the electric cooperatives of Virginia had to create a school that would train uh, young folks to be line workers. This is allowing young folks to get training in meaningful work that they can then apply to jobs in their own uh, rural communities. The first class began uh, March 1st of 2016 this year and graduated its first class of, of 11 students on uh, May the 12th. And now the second class is underway and, uh, and we even have a third class that's scheduled for this coming October. It is just 11 weeks, but it's 11 very intense weeks that uh, determines if they're able to climb, which is obviously a principal part of the job. Climbing with a heavy belt, of course these are not energized lines, but the climbing skills are a big part of it. They have to be able to, uh, to master a lot of information about the industry and about line work. Um, there's CDL training that's a part of it. There's OSHA training that's a part of it. Once they've gotten the certificate from the 11 weeks, then they're much more desirable candidates to be hired by an electric cooperative or by another type of utility or contractor. A line worker is, is a position that, uh, that is a, a lifetime of learning. It's certainly a very dangerous job. It's a very demanding job. It's a job that requires a lot of mental and physical uh, skills and discipline. Not everyone can do it. Uh, which is why it's a position that's in demand and going to be in even more demand moving forward. The thing that makes this remarkable to me is that cooperatives uh, are doing something that's certainly good for the, the electric utility industry. Uh, but beyond that, I think the most wonderful thing about it is that electric cooperatives are doing this uh, also to help the, uh, the economic development and the workforce development needs of the rural communities that we serve.